again, my name is Anna Faut, and today I'm speaking with one of our senior artist managers, Martin Kopec, who is joining us from his home in London today. Prior to joining TACT, Martin was an owner of a boutique artist agency and a co-founder of a popular singer's audition platform. So we are joined today all the way from London by Martin, who is an agent extraordinaire and he will answer some of our very pressing questions of the day and tomorrow perhaps. And I will start with the first question, which is, do you consider yourself an agent or a personal manager? And what is the difference? Well, I think, uh, I think most of uh, managers would consider themselves personal managers. However, however, there is a big difference between being an agent and personal manager. Uh, because agents very often work as bookers. So they, they fill up the calendar and they inform the artist and that's it. And the personal manager looks after the whole package. So we are planning the career, we think how to do it. We, we uh, put the roles that we want to do into the basket, then we look for them in certain uh, order, I would say, or, or in, certain, in certain seasons. And uh, we look after everything. We look after the journeys, the traveling, the, the accommodation. It's not necessarily me doing everything, but our team does it. And uh, I work with a couple of fantastic assistants, uh, Anna and Camelia. We also, uh, we also have a different connection than just, just a business like office, like uh, uh, agencies sometimes do. Mm. So I, I'm hearing uh, a personal manager is definitely what is being said here. Listen, <laughs> speaking of that, um, you mentioned uh, you plan a career and that is definitely a work of an, uh, of an agent or a manager. Um, what, what role does an agent plan when you are planning a career for your artist? Or together no, with your to artist, maybe? It's, it is important. I mean, certain artists do think about the future and they look ahead, but some of them just look very short term and they think, okay, so next, next month, next year, we've got this and this plan and that's enough. And actually, uh, we should be looking at five years and planning around five years of a career. If I, if I start working with a new artist, we would try to make five years plan, basically. Because, you know, the next season is already done. Everything is fixed. You may still get some work, but it's not, you know, it's not uh, a career planning. And I think uh, we are looking at the roles. We are looking where the voice is now and where it's going to be in five years time and how to get to the roles that we want to do in five years time. So if, if, you're, if you're a mezzo, uh, singing big repertoire, I don't know, Verdi, and you're looking to change into character because the voice is getting into different fag, that will not happen overnight, you need to plan it, so you start debuting roles that will be useful. Mm -hmm. Alongside, you still do your core repertoire and then you stop doing it and then the other fag takes over, so again, it is long term, you cannot do it within one season, but it has to be discussed, it has to be planned. And how important is the health of the voice? When, when, what, what role does it, when you're planning, uh, the when you have this five year plan, do you take into how, how important is the health of the development of the voice and do you monitor that throughout the five years? Yes, we need to do it. We need to do it and, and of course, uh, sometimes we debut a role and we think, oh, maybe it is too early or maybe it's not entirely suitable and and uh, and you need to be very careful. Very often, very often, uh, the biggest mistake is in a quick change. So somebody is singing like a tenor, singing big lyric fach, thinking, okay, now I can move and I can do all the spin toe. And from season to season, you just start doing it and that's the worst thing you can do because the voice is not used to it. It's different tessitura, different strength of the voice needed. 
and the fact that the voice is large doesn't mean that you're immediately a spinto tenor and it may come with time but you cannot just say okay now i'm doing only Cavaradossi and i'm doing only uh, i don't know moving further travatore or whatever right. we need to be very 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 uh, precise here hmm it's very interesting thank you i'm going to ask you something about uh promotion self promotion what do you think uh or what role or how important is it for an opera singer to do this kind of self promotion or marketing such as i'm speaking about websites or social media or recordings what do you think is that something super important or is it secondary to the craft look it, it depends uh, where are you in your career if you are a singer that is looking for management uh, and starting off being quite young of course you need to get interest of people and uh, you do it to obtain a good agency to obtain interest of course and uh, in this case you need to have a very good base so whenever you you send out the materials uh you need to have the websites you need to have good recordings especially good recordings and a cv or a biography it doesn't need to be a long cv with mentioning 30 opera companies that you worked for mention two of the most important two good conductors and will be interested it's not the quantity here that matters mm. uh so if you're a young artist you get your interest of course, by sending out uh, tons of emails and uh, asking for auditions and, and uh, being active on this level. However, I must admit, you know, Facebook and self-promotion on the internet and on social media, on, on Twitter or, or on uh, Instagram. Instagram is also very important because we, if we hear the voice, we are interested. And if I hear the voice that, that you know it's, it's got something special in it i would go to the website i would make my small re research find more recordings so uh, it is important on this level now once you get to to the next level and when you're a performing artist and you're you're having a career it is still important <laughs> <laughs> so self-promotion is always important but of course uh, when you're established it is your management doing it mostly we also have a great team uh, of PR that is working on it. And whenever there are performances, we advertise them. Whenever there are concerts, we've got some videos, we've got some streamings. We always do that for, for our singers. We want to make sure that the name is always out there and people think, okay, so if we've got every week of, or every second week somebody online doing something, it, it must be popular. And aim and and demand comes with popularity so you know it's it's like a big big uh, snowball the Martin, more you do the... oh sorry Martin, do you think um uh casting directors actually look at the marketing materials or this pr package that the singer has independent of the agency when making their casting decisions again the depending on what level you are. Mm -hmm. Because of course, if, if you are a young singer, it's very unlikely that your friends on Facebook will be casting directors. If you're an agent that knows quite a lot of people and advertises your artist, you know that these videos will go to the casting directors. And again, if, if uh, a casting director is following an agency or is following uh, you know, the, the, the professional account of the artist, they will also want to see it very often and they will be able to see it. So it's a good, it is a good advert. Mm -hmm. And finally, question of the times. Let's say I'm an artist, I'm stuck at home and uh, I need to know, are people working right now? Can I send my materials? Should I be recording? Should I be practicing? Should I be stressing out about my future? What could I be doing right now at home? Well, stressing out will not help anyone. And of course, the situation <laughs> is difficult for, for, uh, for us. 
So we are all waiting what will happen next. But for now, I think because people are stuck at home and because they work from home, they don't work in full capacity, they've got a bit more free time. Why don't you, if you're suddenly getting better and better and you feel it's working, you know, put your videos together or if you cannot put put the materials together, gather what you've got, send out to us. Uh, we will have more time to do it now. We will have more time to assess the materials to 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 look for more people. And if you, if you are a spinto tenor, please send it to me. <laughs> That's very well said. I have to go because I'm also a mom at home. So um, Martin, thank you so much. We all held in spinto tenor. Send us your resumes. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for joining us Martin thank you so much for your expertise and we shall talk to you very soon I hope thank you thank you for having me Anna have a good